This is Jill. And how long have you been coming here? Uh, since September of 2010. September of 2010. And how do you like it? Love it. Love it. I've recommended a bunch of friends and uh, co-workers to come over here as well. All right. Um, what do you think makes AST different from other facilities? Let's see. Should I be, first of all, should I be looking at you with the camera? Whatever you want. <laughs> um, fine. There's a bunch of things that make AST better uh, than a lot of other places I've worked out at. Uh, one, it is everyone who works here is a pro. Uh, so you're going to get the right advice when you're asking somebody that works here. And it's always tailored to the person. So everyone that comes in here has a different background, different level of experience, or different things going on with them that they need tailored advice. And everyone here works towards that type of tailoring. The other big thing for me is the facility itself. And it's clean, it's always taken care of. The equipment is top of the line and not available elsewhere that I found in Chicago. Awesome. Um, what changes have you experienced since starting here? Uh, well, lots of changes. I mean, I've had a background of lifting, uh, but I tried to manage it myself over the last, let's say, seven, eight years, on and on again, on and off again lifting. Um, not seeing a lot. Basically just going through the motions of going to the gym. And I think a lot of people are like that. Um, in terms of going through the motions. I came here because I realized what I looked like and um, I guess performed like physically uh, was basically the same now as it was or probably less than what it was six or seven years ago. And I didn't need any improvements or changes. With all that time and investment, money and memberships and other gyms, uh, uh, since coming in here at AST, I've dropped body fat percentage, uh, I've increased my strength, uh, improved flexibility. Uh, basically, all the things that I was looking to do to not just meet immediate needs um, for goals, but for a longer life, basically. Awesome. Um, let's see. What benefits have you seen from training with different coaches since you used to do the group training? Oh, yeah. Um, different coaches. Like, basically, every pro that works here and it comes with a different background, different experience level. And so they have different things that they can offer the people that join. You definitely learn something new from each one of the coaches. So it, it takes time to kind of get to know people, but they make it a very simple and fun process to do that. Um, I've learned uh, on Sergio's side a lot of what he's done with people in terms of MMA work. Um, and applying that to some short burst physical training. Uh, on uh, Zach's perspective, he's got the classical training for Olympic lifting, and I saw strengths in, in both of what they provide to, that I could apply to my own workouts and, and then my own intensity levels. All right, and with Zach's workouts, you did the power lifting? Yeah. Yeah, what do you think of that? I, uh, I did join my first power lifting competition uh, earlier this year, 2011. Um, I was pretty freaked out about doing it, um, as was all the other newbies that were joining it for the first time. But we came together as a team, as a group of people, to uh, try to get towards the same goal, that is, do our first comp competition and not injure ourselves. Mm -hmm. um, pretty bare minimum you know, expectations, but a number of us, including me, walked away with uh, personal records in terms of our own lifting and even trophies. We beat out other people that were there and it was all based upon our consistent training that everyone applied, but Zach's uh, tutelage and leadership to get us to that point. Awesome. Um, how has biosignature affected your results? Biosignature, that was totally new to me when I first came here and, and I've been lifting for probably closer to about 10 years total. Um, Biosignature, bio the whole process and concept of being able to measure someone's hormone levels based back to not only their diet, but tying it into sleep behaviors and exercise uh, and supplementation gave me a much broader perspective in terms of all the little environmental factors that affect what I look like and how I feel. And I feel like 
I know a lot more since September of last year uh, now about the things that affect me. I'm smarter when I go to the grocery store. I uh, am more aware of the type of lifting habits and daily behaviors that I have uh, ergonomically when I'm working even um, that will affect my well-being. And I'm continuing to learn, but it's through the pros that work here. Awesome. Is there anything else you want to add? <laughs> Give it a try. That's all I have to add. <laughs> I tell everybody that. It's, uh, it's basically come in here, get, uh, get a consult from one of the pros. Talk to them about what your needs are. They'll listen to you and actually give you some advice that you can walk away with and be smarter with just walking in and talking with them for free. Uh, for those of you that go beyond that step and actually start a program, uh, get past that first week. <laughs> first week of working out and then you're in the club and it's I have yet to see anyone here who's gone past week one and has regretted any part of that experience.